Newmark makes two interesting product announcements, a major DJ software gets an official update, and a new DJ routine that changes the game. Find out more coming up. Thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. Now let's get into the video. Recently, Newmark announced two new products. First, a new controller, the NS62, an update to one of their first controllers. And second, a new turntable, the NTX1000. The NS6 holds a special place in my heart as it was the first controller that I ever purchased. And this new update looks like it's worthy to carry the same name. The NS62 combines some of the best features from Newmark's current controllers and puts them all into one unit. You get four channels in Serato DJ, touch controls on the EQs and effects, you get screens on the jog wheels, as well as USB inputs for two DJs for seamless transitions. This is a feature pack controller with a great build quality. Newmark's been killing it with the controllers recently. And the price tag, $799. For under $800, you get a controller that can plug in two different computers where two DJs can go back and forth seamlessly, as well as a great build quality. And it also comes with a full license for Serato DJ as well, which a lot of controllers don't actually have. If you were in the market for a new controller, I would suggest holding off and taking a serious look at this one. It looks like Newmark's following the line of all the other manufacturers because their second announcement was a brand new turntable. The NTX 1000 looks like a feature pack, high torque turntable to give you professional level performance and also I think personally it looks great as well. A lot of turntables came the same aesthetic as the Techniques 1200. This one kind of combines that classic look but updated a little bit and it also matches a lot of Newmark's current line. You get the black brushed aluminum with another highlighting color, in this case silver, and with this current price tag of $399, I think it'll kill the game if the performance is on par. If this turntable performs as well as the other Super OEM turntables out there, like the Pioneer PLXs or the Audio Technicas or any of the other turntables that are currently out, this turntable might be the entry point for beginner DJs to step up to professional level turntable performance. I love what Newmark's doing with the aggressive pricing, with this being $399 and the controller being $799, puts it in a great spot price-wise for DJs to get into DJing, especially if they're on somewhat of a budget. It's not the cheapest gear out there, but for the price, you're getting a whole lot. Serato DJ version 1.9.6 finally got its official release last week, and it looks like everybody's loving it. All of these new features, especially for those that are on DVS like myself, have been waiting for a version of Serato DJ like this that caters to the way that we DJ. That anti-drift feature is killer, the ability to turn off hot cues is awesome, and the sticker sync update is cool as well. If you haven't already, I would suggest updating the Serato DJ version 1.9.6 as it seems pretty stable, I haven't had any issues with it gigging over the weekend, and you get a bunch of great new features. <clears throat> One of the coolest things I saw last week was a new routine from DJ Asian Hawk. This guy combined controllerism with turntablism and doing live vocals at the exact same time. This isn't something that I've seen previously, and it's awesome to see people elevating DJing and turntablism to the next level. And on top of just combining all these things, this guy killed it with the performance. The vocals were on point, the scratching was on point, the beats were on point. If you haven't already checked that video, I'll go ahead and leave a link down in the description. You gotta check that thing out. So that's it for the news this week, so question of the day. What did you think of Asian Hawk's performance? Go ahead and leave that down in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you guys have to say. And as always, if you found this video useful, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, be sure to click right there to subscribe. Or if you'd like to see more content, go ahead and click right there. And thank you for watching P.TV where you'll find tips, tricks, and tutorials for DJs and music performers. See you next time.